Someone says. I bought this course that says you don't have to accept her rejection. Why this is terrible advice. The pitfalls of ignoring rejection. Why you shouldn't disregard her no. Welcome back to our channel. Your go-to destination for insightful discussions on topics that shape your life. Today. We're diving headfirst into a contentious. And off-debated subject. The controversial advice that suggests you don't have to accept her rejection. This counsel frequently finds its way into dating courses and pick up artist communities. Counted as a strategy for reclaiming power and asserting dominance in romantic pursuits. But beneath the surface, is this advice truly as empowering and effective as it claims to be? In this comprehensive study, we'll unpack the complexities of disregarding a woman's rejection and explore why this approach is not only ineffective, but also potentially harmful. But before we plunge into the depths of this crucial conversation, we have a humble request for you, our valued audience. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. By doing so, you'll ensure that you never miss out on our latest videos, each meticulously crafted to inform, challenge, and inspire you on your journey through life and love. Now, let's set the stage for our discussion. The notion of disregarding a woman's rejection stems from a misguided belief that persistence and tenacity are the keys to romantic success. Proponents of this advice argue that by refusing to accept a woman's initial rejection, you demonstrate confidence, assertiveness, and a refusal to be deterred by obstacles. However, beneath the surface lies a troubling undercurrent of entitlement and disrespect for boundaries at its core. Disregarding a woman's rejection reflects a profound misunderstanding of consent and autonomy. It perpetuates the harmful myth that women's feelings and boundaries are negotiable, subject to be overridden by the desires of men. This not only undermines women's agency, but also reinforces harmful gender dynamics rooted in patriarchal norms of dominance and control. Moreover, this advice fails to acknowledge the emotional toll it can take on women. Rejection is a natural and necessary part of the dating process, and no one is entitled to another person's affection or attention. By disregarding a woman's rejection, you invalidate her feelings and autonomy, sending the message that her consent is inconsequential and her boundaries are negotiable. This can lead to feelings of discomfort, fear, and even trauma, further perpetuating a culture of gender-based violence and harassment. But perhaps most importantly, disregarding a woman's rejection is ultimately counterproductive to building genuine and meaningful connections. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, and communication, not coercion or manipulation. By refusing to accept a woman's boundaries, you undermine the foundation of trust and respect necessary for a relationship to thrive. So, what is the alternative? How can we navigate rejection in a way that honors both our own dignity and the autonomy of others? The answer lies in embracing empathy, respect, and emotional intelligence. Instead of viewing rejection as a personal failure or a reflection of inadequacy, see it as an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. Respect her decision, acknowledge her autonomy, and gracefully bow out with dignity and grace. If you found this exploration of the pitfalls of disregarding a woman's rejection insightful, we invite you to join our community by subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. Your support enables us to continue producing content that challenges harmful narratives and fosters empathy and understanding in our relationships. Thank you for tuning in and allowing us to be a part of your journey towards healthier and more fulfilling connections. We appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more thought-provoking discussions with you in the future. Until then, let's continue to navigate the complexities of love and relationships with compassion, respect, and integrity. The problem with don't take no for an answer in the realm of dating and relationships. The idea of not accepting rejection is often framed as a sign of confidence and persistence. The logic goes that if you want something badly enough, you should never give up regardless of the obstacles in your way. However, when it comes to matters of the heart, 
This mindset can have serious consequences. Respecting boundaries. The foundation of healthy relationships. At the core of any healthy relationship is mutual respect. And consent. When someone expresses disinterest. Or rejection. It's crucial to respect their boundaries. And wishes. Ignoring. Or disregarding a person's rejection not only violates their autonomy. But also undermines the foundation of trust. And respect necessary for a healthy relationship to thrive. The importance of consent. Consent is a fundamental principle in any interaction. Whether it's romantic. Sexual. Or otherwise. Consent means that all parties involved willingly. And enthusiastically agree to participate in an activity. Or relationship. When someone says no. It's essential to honor their decision. And refrain from pressuring. Or coercing them into changing their mind. The dangers of persistence. Encouraging people to disregard rejection. And pursue someone relentlessly sends a dangerous message about consent. And boundaries. It reinforces the toxic idea that a person's feelings. And desires can be disregarded in pursuit of one's own desires. This mentality not only perpetuates a culture of entitlement. But also increases the risk of harassment. Coercion. And emotional manipulation. The impact on mental health. For the individual on the receiving end of unwanted advances. Being pursued despite expressing clear disinterest can be incredibly distressing. And harmful to their mental well-being. It can erode their sense of agency. And autonomy. Leaving them feeling powerless. And vulnerable. Moreover. It can create a sense of fear. And anxiety around future interactions. Making it harder to trust others. And form genuine connections. The alternatives to ignoring rejection. Instead of promoting the idea of not accepting rejection. We should encourage healthy communication. And mutual respect in all interactions. When faced with rejection. It's essential to handle it gracefully. And respectfully. This means accepting the other person's decision without trying to change their mind. Or guilt tripping them into reconsidering. In conclusion. It becomes abundantly clear that the advice advocating for. The dismissal of a woman's rejection is not only misguided. But also deeply harmful. In a world where respect for boundaries. Consent. And mutual understanding are paramount. Such advice stands in stark contrast to the principles that underpin healthy. And respectful interactions. At its core. Disregarding a woman's rejection perpetuates a culture of entitlement. And disrespect. Wherein the autonomy. And agency of individuals. Particularly women. Are undermined. And disregarded. By promoting the idea that persistence and assertiveness trump consent and boundaries. This advice perpetuates harmful gender dynamics and reinforces oppressive power structures. Moreover, the emotional toll of disregarding a woman's rejection cannot be overstated. It invalidates her feelings, dismisses her autonomy, and perpetuates a cycle of coercion and manipulation that can have lasting and devastating effects on her well-being. In a society where women are already disproportionately affected by gender-based violence and harassment, such advice only serves to exacerbate existing inequalities and injustices. In contrast, embracing principles of empathy, respect, and communication lays the foundation for healthy and fulfilling relationships. By prioritizing mutual understanding and consent, we create a culture where everyone feels valued respected and safe this not only fosters deeper connections and greater intimacy but also promotes a more equitable and just society for all if you found this discussion enlightening and thought-provoking we encourage you to join our community by subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell by doing so you'll stay updated on our latest videos each crafted with care to challenge harmful narratives and foster empathy and understanding in our relationships. Thank you for tuning in and allowing us to be a part of your journey towards healthier and more respectful interactions. Your support enables us to continue producing content that challenges harmful norms and promotes a culture of empathy and respect. Together, let's strive to create a world where everyone's boundaries are honored. Consent is paramount and mutual respect prevails. Thanks for watching and we look forward to engaging with you in future discussions. Until then, 
let's continue to advocate for a culture of empathy, respect, and understanding in all aspects of our lives. See you in the next one.